All right, well, praise the Lord Jesus who's given us everything we need tonight for our easiest catfish ever. Now, a lot of people think uh, that cooking fish has to be complicated, that you need a lot of special ingredients or special skills or equipment. And that couldn't be further from the truth, especially when you have fresh catfish and the Lord is kind enough to provide these for us in answer to prayer. So all I've done, you, you need the catfish fillets. These happen to be channel catfish fillets. Butter in a pan, medium heat. And uh, since we're using butter, we're not going to add salt. But if you use some other kind of vegetable oil, like maybe olive oil, you would, would want to add just a little salt. Black pepper. And optional, uh, we're going to add a little garlic powder because uh, we like it. All right, and then you just uh, put the fillets in the pan. And it's going to cook kind of slow and steady. We're cooking. Uh, our side dish tonight is jalapeno marinated. And we're just uh, got some asparagus. And so I put the asper asparagus in the jalapeno brine uh, this morning. I don't know, maybe 7 o'clock. Uh, so it was in there for about 10 hours and then I put uh, four tablespoons of the jalapeno brine and we're going to steam it in the microwave for about three minutes like this and that'll probably be close to done but I'll I'll check it after three minutes because we don't like it super soft we like it a little al dente so we'll check it after three minutes Okay, so we can see now it's getting a little white around the edges. Uh, but to be honest with you, as thick as these pieces are, especially in the middle, because these were like fatter catfish, uh, I'm going to let the white creep up a little more toward the center before I turn them over. All right, so yeah, three minutes was good for the asparagus. It's at the right level of doneness that I like. And uh, we're going to give those fish another minute before the turn. Hit the asparagus with a little pepper. Hit the asparagus with a little garlic powder. Use one of the plates to keep the asparagus warm while we finish the fish. So sometimes with fish, it's a little hard to tell if it's done. Um, I'm just have a look at the other side. Ultimately, what you do is, I like to break the biggest one apart. And if your biggest one is nice and white all the way through and breaks apart pretty easily, it's done. I'll tell you what, that, that goodness in the pan, hard to leave it behind. I'm gonna share those flavors with the asparagus. All right, time for the taste test. Blessed are you, O Yahweh our God, King of the universe, who brings forth everything from nothing and who brings forth the fish from the sea. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, I tell you, 
Fresh catfish is the easy button. Well, the cooking part, you did the hard part. <laughs> well, the Lord was kind to us when we were fishing, so catching them wasn't that hard either. Um, so the flavor's marvelous. Catfish that haven't been frozen, uh, they're milder, they're more tender. I tell you, you just have to get them to turn white in the pan with a little butter and then some salt and pepper. We skipped the salt because the, they're salt in the butter and we added a little garlic powder and it is wonderful. Melt in your mouth tender too. What's your opinion, my bride? Fresh, warm, satisfying. This way of cooking is, is not just the easiest, but it's also the, like I showed you, the simplest way to see that you're really done enough. You know, if you bread it and fry it, you know, there's some wiggle room with when you take it out and you're judging by the breading, but you're not really seeing how done the meat is. So sometimes I'll leave it in the fryer too long. And likewise on the grill, something about the light or whatever, it's just harder to tell on the grill when it's done just right as compared with the butter in the pan on medium heat. I forgot to start the asparagus in the marinade like 48 hours in advance like I do sometimes. So this is actually, it, it's got a fresher asparagus taste and a lot less of the heat from the jalapeno brine because it was only in there for 10 hours rather than 48. What's your opinion, my love? I think it picked up the heat just fine, but it is a little bit fresher, which I like. I thought it might taste fishy, but since you had the fresh fish, it does not. It was only in the pan where the fish were for a minute, and I was doing that mostly to pick up the pepper and the butter. In your mind, <laughs> but it did work. If the flavors are there, it's gonna pick it up. You notice what happened there? She said that my idea was only in my mind, like it wasn't going to happen that way. And then she said, but it did work. So let me interpret that for you guys who might not speak wife yet. You were right. <laughs> she was surprised that I was right. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus, not just for dinner, but for a beautiful wife. I'll take you out, sure.